All righty, it's day 15 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And this past week, we've been praying for those in our communities that are, are in positions of leadership. Now today, maybe a tough one for some of you, we're gonna be praying for our bosses and our supervisors where we work, or if you're still in school, we're gonna be praying for our teachers and our administrators. Now I know many of you are blessed to work in some spaces and places where it's easy to follow the guidance of your lead teams or your teachers, while others of you, it can be difficult for a variety of reasons. The questions we have to ask ourselves today is who do we have the power to change? Because really, it starts with me. Proverbs 22, King Solomon describes it. He says, do you see any truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than working for ordinary people. The greatest gift, friends, listen, is that we can give to our bosses and teachers is to be great and competent at what we've been assigned and tasked to do. We can also then choose to do, as Paul says in Romans, to outdo one another in honor, especially with those in leadership over you. And then in humility, may we follow well, because we can't be great leaders until we learn to be great followers. Then watch, in the days to come, watch what God does as he blesses you and elevates you in due season and in due time. So today, in day 15, may we pray for our bosses, pray for our teachers, pray for our administrators, that God would embolden them to lead well with integrity, with passion, with vision, and that we would follow well with humility, with excellence, and with honor. I'm cheering you on and praying with you today. Love you, Vibrant.